Namaste and welcome. My name is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming each and every one of you to my channel with all my love and all my heart. To all my beautiful existing subscribers, thank you so much for your love. Truly, thank you. And if you're coming here for the first time, welcome, my friends. And today in this video, I'm bringing forth a reading for all of you. I'm going to be opening up the space into the spiritual realm and tapping into the spiritual realm to look at and bring forth messages from your guides about something you're needing to know. Each one of us has the psychic ability to connect to our inner self and sometimes it gets blocked and sometimes we doubt and I am here in this reading serving either as a confirmation of something you already know or feeling or perhaps there is some situation something you're not looking at very clearly and you're asking for guidance on that whatever that may be open your heart to allow for the energy to come through I've invited your guides here and this is our 777 divine guidance reading let's go straight into the reading message from your guides what is it that they're needing to know angels what is it that the people who are connecting with me in this reading needing to know at this time what is it they are needing to know what is it that the people are needing to know at this time angels what is it that they're needing to know Thank you. What is it that people are needing to know at this time, angels? Thank you, angels. What is it that people are needing to know at this time, angels? What is it that people are needing to know at this time? time what is it that people are needing to know at this time what is it that people are needing to know at this time angels what is it they're needing to know What is it that the people are needing to know right now, angels? Something sl slip? Ha! Huh. <laughs> something did a full 360 degrees. Hmm. Something, there's some turnaround that's happening in your life. <laughs> something is completely, it's like um, overturning okay in your life okay because there's like a full 360 degree flip something opened i didn't see it in time and um it went back in we're going to look at the angel guidance also from my tarot deck and then i'll go into the reading what is it that people are needing to know at this time angels Thank you, angels. Did I not call this reading as divine guidance? Okay. So, you know why I call this reading a divine guidance? And that is going to be something that I will be continuing on my channel. In fact, this is a preview of the type of readings that I'll be offering on my Patreon starting in April. So if you've already, if you see this, let's say in May, June or any time later, then you would know that it's already there on the part of my Patreon. And I am going to be titling it 777 Divine Guidance. This was a birthday card made by my nephew for my birthday this year. And I thought this very appropriate. And that is the gold level of membership. 
seven dollars and 77 cents it was inspired and i'm going to exclusively put in content for my patreon members for divine guidance in that tier and it's the gold tier and i was telling you divine guidance what's at the bottom of the deck and it says here divine guidance okay so you are seeing signs you are seeing symbols you are seeing synchronicities and the message is going to be clear to you something that you're asking about okay whether you're searching for a meaning in life or why are these challenges or why are these things taking place in my life the questions you've been asking the angels are saying that the worst is behind you okay overcoming difficulties the angels are saying that the worst is behind you you are surmounting any previous challenges with the dark angel you've gone through a lot of on the spiritual awakening the dark night of the soul where the soul has to face so many ego deaths or things that the mind has created on their life path about a partner about how life should be but we are here on earth bringing our woundings to heal our woundings to take that inner journey whether we want it or not we do end up taking that so your angels are here saying that you are overcoming difficulties and you're gaining a lot of wisdom you may be seeing the numbers 222 okay we're seeing 22 here and the second ray of wisdom uh, you are growing a lot so whatever that challenge has been in your life, whatever that sticky situation has been, there's something that you're growing very strong in wisdom because your soul knows what the ultimate destiny is for you in this life journey, okay? Trust what you're feeling, okay, with the trust card. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide you in your career path. So some of you may have been questioning about whether you should be taking that career path or not. The divine guidance is coming in is trust your feelings about it. Trust what your inner guidance is telling you because your guides are guiding you through your dreams and through those heartfelt feelings. Okay, that is guiding you towards the next stages of your career path. It may not look like what you had planned as a part of your career and something opens up and your heart feels called to it even though it may look like it's off course it is really on course it's on point for your destiny you are becoming more and more sensitive so be mindful of the people you're around be mindful of the situations be mindful of the environment and if you're feeling and your gut feeling is that when you walk into a room you walk into friends group or other areas or other other places any situations and you're feeling that sense of um, uncomfortable that this is just draining your energy trust that trust what you're feeling because that is your intuitive side whether you're male or female that's on the rise there's a great amount of with all of this I'm picking up there's a great amount of third eye chakra which is a command center for our life is awakening so you're awakening to a higher purpose. You're awakening to seeing things from a higher perspective. That is what has been taking place. Your angels are guiding you towards certain form of commitment. We're going to open up with tarot and see what that is. Let's see. Five of Swords. Ace of Swords. Knight of Wands. Eight of Cups, Heart of the Reading, Decisions, Two of Swords, High Priestess, Queen of Swords, we get the, we get a lot of swords here. Archangel Michael seems to be one of your strong guides guiding you right now. Maybe your guide throughout, but for sure, in this particular situation or when you're tapping in right now, Archangel Michael's really a big guide here. And I did tell you, you'll be seeing the 222 activation just with these numbers here. I'm seeing a lot of twos up here too. High Priestess, card number two, two of Michael, two, two of Ariel, which is your two of 
pentacles right here and we get the king of earth so i'm feeling that there's something better that is waiting for you the angels are saying that you may have been pushing a certain door and that door whatever there was for you to learn through that waiting period outside that door pushing that door hammering that door now the angel guidance is that there's something that is better in store for you and they're guiding you the path is not very clear you're not sure of how it is going to manifest what will happen but your guides are guiding you you're gaining a lot of wisdom trust your feelings okay no do what you feel is right okay you're definitely on a strong spiritual quest okay there is a situation that you are either inquiring about or that's coming up to your surface archangel michael's helping you to bring that up to surface to clear out the mental body to clear out the mental space you have a certain attachment to a outcome it could be about the relationship okay i'll look into the relationship it could be about a work or it could be about like this is my path i'm studying this and this is the direction i want to go i'm doing this so i want to move in this direction right or i've 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 worked this hard in this particular way to grow my business so this is the way i need to go but there there is a new door that is opening for you okay and this is the door that is going to be bringing about freedom for you okay for the commitment for you to have gone through these dark periods okay you were awakening a certain part that was dormant within you if you had been operating with all these all these uh, swords you were operating a lot out of your mental body which is our logic which is our masculine energy whether we are male or female now because you had been operating a lot out of that i feel like the shadow aspect which was hidden aspects where you had not strengthen your feminine energy whether you're male or female you've gone through a lot of the healing of that okay and that had taken a toll okay you invested a lot of emotional energy in relationships in situations in friendships in um home front in your work and even the entrepreneurship even in this quest the spiritual quest and it kind of left you in a place where you may have felt like you want to give up okay that's what i'm picking up but the angel guidance here is to continue to commit and with this commitment card they're showing a ballerina and my god her stretch is like amazing she's like fully stretched uh so with and 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 she didn't just she was not just born like that she has worked hard and persevered towards her dreams towards her goals towards achieving this slowly pushing that boundary slowly pushing and achieving her desired goals and results okay that's what this ballerina feels like and i'm seeing with the arms stretched out and this eagle on this feather stretched up they're both feeling like a sense of freedom okay so continue do not give up at this time continue to persevere continue to follow your heart's calling continue to listen to the promptings of the heart even though they may not show the results that you are hoping or wanting you're feeling like you're going off course if i'm repeating myself that message is meant to come through again that somebody may not have paid attention because i can hear myself speaking again okay so there's the archana coming through right now i feel some of you are with all this air element some of you are over analyzing a certain situation so you're operating out of your mental body and that's why the guidance is coming that listen to your heart listen to the wisdom of your heart and stop over analyzing and just trust and go with it just trust and trust your instinct trust the guidance coming in trust what you feel 
and you are you are very sensitive to energies you are sensitive to the spiritual realm so your angels are here saying that try to trust that and it will help you so it you don't have to be in your over analytical mind second message that's coming in is if you are in a verbal fight that is not supporting you okay not going back and forth about i need to have the right word in a relationship okay there's a sense of freedom it is time to release that that situation is not serving you okay you're gaining a lot more perspective archangel michael's coming through is helping you with a new idea maybe a new idea about a job maybe a new idea about the way you want to uh present yourself in your company in your business perhaps a new idea about you want to launch something new if you're an entrepreneur a new idea about how to connect within the family okay so any kind of road bumps that you're having right now the difficulties that you feel like there may be some little hurdles it's a it's the hurdle of a journey Okay so it's like you're packing packing your bags and going on a journey when you're going on that journey there will be some hiccups there will be some there will be some challenges but you got this your angels got this they're helping you along the way so don't let that to stagnate your progress okay so this is also a time to realize that there are these tests of initiations how much can you persevere okay perseverance does not mean that you have to be blindly giving in the time it's having faith in your dream even though the results are not showing because there is something that you're growing in and i'm going to share that with you what you're growing in the wisdom is when we come from a place of our crown chakra activation when the crown chakra is open and activated and your guides are helping you to connect from the higher dimensions there has to be a level of det detachment okay the level of detachment is i continue to do because it makes me feel good i'm doing this because it's the right thing to do i'm doing this because it i feel it in my heart and my soul that that's the right thing to do and when you come from that place that this is the right thing to do then it doesn't matter whether another person acknowledges it or you receive that in reciprocity from that person because nothing in the universe is ever wasted any energy that you are putting out the goodness that you're putting out the good words that you have for others the good deeds that you have for others are never a waste it is awakening your heart chakra okay it is opening your heart chakra and you're receiving a lot of psychic insights okay you're receiving a lot of psychic insights so this is a confirmation whether it's in the dream space or you're seeing these number synchronicities or you're thinking of something and something happens or someone you you you're, you're giving an advice where you intuitively feel you may be picking up other people's energy and being able to uh to gauge the situation and be able to give the advice appropriately you're gaining a lot of psychic wisdom male or female trust that this reading is a confirmation that you're growing a lot in your divine feminine power male or female so uh, it's important to pay attention to that okay because it's giving you very valuable situation about something where you feel stuck okay you are overcoming difficulties okay now there's also the guidance over here that it is time for you to take action my friends your angels are saying it is time to take actions we got the knight of gabriel that's the knight of wands it goes after the dreams is a lot of movement he is passionate when we say he it's a masculine energy of you know creation of taking charge of the mind and going forth with our creation the fearless energy the knight of wands is fearless and wants to get to the end goal right when driven by passion so what this energy is feeling like be confident be confident about something something where you may be considering a new new income stream let's put it this way okay so new income stream so let's say if you are already working in a company so maybe like you're given like a new project 
okay? Or you may be given something, yeah, let's take the example, you're given a new project, okay? And there may be certain decisions you have to make. What is your gut? First is you, you do all your homework, right? You get all, you, you get all the information you need. Now, you, that part is done. Now that fear comes in, should I, should I not? Should we, should we do this, should we not do this? The angel guidance is coming is trust yourself. Go forth, be confident. Be confident that this is going to bring in and yield results because you are receiving the psychic insight. The Knight of Wands to the High Priestess to the King of Earth. The King of Earth is material abundance, material wealth, material security for you and others. So this will reap good rewards. You're coming from a place of conflict and you're moving through indecision based on past experiences. Now you're, le you're learning to move away from things. So angel guidance is saying that yes, be confident, be courageous, okay? Be courageous about the information that you are receiving, okay? The information that you're receiving from within, okay? I'm talking about the information you're receiving from within. So be courageous about it. It may feel in the moment like the path is unclear. Don't worry, I see Archangel Raphael here guiding you. Okay, slow and steady is guiding you towards. So I do see you looking back. Okay, this woman is looking back at this chest, which is filled with gold coins. So this is feeling like this person, which is here, it's a representation of you, my friend, is you're looking back at what you've already created. Something where you had invested your time, where you had invested your money, where you had invested energy, and that's your comfort zone. So I'm also feeling that Archangel Raphael and Archangel Gabriel are guiding you to leave your comfort zone, to take a little bit of a plunge, to take that jump, to take that leap of faith, to move towards, um, to, to, mo to move towards what you instinctively know is right. When you're trusting that instinct, that, that divine guidance is coming through, it is going to take you to a place you're going to land in a good place, okay? I'm not saying you're going to land in a good place ASAP, but it is where your guides are guiding you. Because they're guiding you, you're not going to fall into the dumps and you're just completely left alone. This is your divine guidance that's coming in, okay? And the angels are also saying, a reminder is coming in, is for you to be um, balanced. Are you overgiving? So when we're talking about a balance here, we're talking about what is your prioritization, my friend? Are you giving enough to yourself? Or are you only doing what's needed as responsibility? When we are working on multiple projects, your angel guidance is that bring balance in. Make sure you take time out to play. Make sure you take time out to meditate. Make sure you take time out to connect with your inner self. Trust your inner self okay with this sensitivity okay if you're feeling like when you're around people that you get overwhelmed a lot so if you do need to take the break do take that break okay without always thinking about i need to give i need to give i need to give so angel agent guidance is that 222 is also the message of bringing balance if you'd like to watch any of my number readings, I haven't done one on 777. Um, I guess April would be a good month for me to plan that video and get that on. I have a 717 on, but the 222 is coming in about balance. Okay, so um, honor, honor this aspect within you. You're brilliant. Okay, you're absolutely brilliant. And um, you're brilliant. And you actually are self-reliant and you're developing these qualities. This developing these qualities of resilience. You're de developing the quality of relying on yourself. So if in the past you felt like people have been unsupportive, work people have not supported you and you have to fend for yourself or at home or in relationships, great, great, wonderful, because it has pushed you to be more reliant on your own self, which means you're strengthening your spirit. You're strengthening and being more confident in your own ability and trusting your inner guidance. You're connecting more to the source. Okay. Angels are saying you know exactly what to do. And this is the time for career rather than relationships. Even though I have relationship cards here, this is a big time. So if at this time, quote unquote, your love life is on hold. There's a reason for it. And I'm hearing my um, 
hummingbirds here. They came in the morning reading too and they're here bringing joy. So you're really overcoming these difficulties. Okay, there is a big change here. Okay, trust the change. Okay? Trust that. Any other messages coming in from here? So another final message on this part on this part is that you are going to land in a great financial success and uh, this time where you felt a financial crunch has taught you many things okay and you're learning to use your resources and resources are many okay what are the resources are they just money resources of time, resources of energy, resources of focus, resources of relationship, resources of commitments, resources of wealth, resources of the physicality. Okay, You have learned to value the re resources. You're learning the value. If I said learning, it's coming for some of you. You're still learning the value of where to draw the boundaries on how much you're going to expend your energy. Where should your focus be? Should your focus be continuously on those past things that have not worked out? Or can you move forward into a new territory where you may not know everything, but you know in your heart that you're guided? Okay, so you're learning that. That's wonderful. And the angels are here reminding you, if you've been making plans and you're not sure how it's going to work out, we got the king of earth. You got it. Angels got your back. You have nothing to worry. Your plans are working out. Any hiccups along the way are just part of the journey. Enjoy the ride. Be lighthearted about it. And I feel I like this. And we get more angel wings here. And it says here, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available for you. Follow it with faith. How amazing that with the Eight of Cups, we get the same same message. The past is now behind you, even though you've invested time and energy in it. Right? Release that and embrace the new. So one of the ways in which you embrace something new, uh, to release the past really, is to keep walking forward. So you're embracing the new. When you start to embrace the new, the old automatically starts to fall back. Where once was one comfort zone. We're not saying you have to take 20 steps forward. The angels are not saying take 20 steps forward. I see Archangel like ahead, like 20 steps ahead there. And, and Archangel, Raphael, Archangel Raphael is watching you as you're taking the first step. And you may want to just look back, rest. And that is okay. Your yeah, angels are saying that is okay. They are supporting you. They're supporting. They're not pushing you. They're not, they're not pushing you towards something. It is something where they're guiding you and they're helping you along this way to let go of what has been of lack and loss and you're moving towards more independence. Some of you have been asking about financial independence. The cards are here showing that you are getting divine guidance about creating new income streams perhaps applying for a new job, starting a new product line, adding some new things to what you already have. And this is setting the tone for future success. Okay, so this is setting the tone for future success. The past is behind you. So don't judge your future based on the past. Let it come from the present moment. And for those of you who have asked about love, Okay, where you have been double-minded or not sure or there's been like a little bit of a challenge in your love relationship. I feel like one of the big messages coming in with the engagement card is that you are overcoming this. You're releasing this past. You're releasing this dark energy in this relationship and it's moving towards something more fulfilling, something more grounded. You're receiving psychic insight. 
okay that's for some of you then another message about this love is that there may have been a connection where you felt like very drawn very committed it, it was filled with a lot of difficulties and you may have been in a place or you may be in a place where you're separating from that you may have separated from that now the angel guidance over here is coming that your love life now is moving to a higher level as you are releasing this energy of the past what's coming towards you is going to be more love okay higher level of commitment okay commitment and we get the energy of commitment when you commit to your own self meaning when you commit to this is i honor myself i this is what i am i respect this this is my boundary and it's not coming from anger this is coming from a place of this is my divine birthright when you come from that place then your energy and your vibration has shifted and when your vibration has shifted it's very sometimes hard to look at where you have invested time and energy it could be long term relationship and you want that long term relation to kind of you know lift its vibration up so you you you're both in that same vibrational frequency and it sometimes doesn't happen and then it hurts our heart so angel guidance is that you are overcoming that difficulty okay you're gaining a lot of wisdom and that trust the path and love will open up for you it is ascending so as your vibration is raising my friends the angels are saying that the person who's going to show up in your life is going to be of a higher vibration that matches you in the new place which is going to be more grounded okay where you feel more balanced where there's going to be great amount of communication are there any other messages that are meant to come forth before i end this reading we got 3133 wonderful that's what i saw up here oh the magician the king of michael and the magician so what i'm going to close out this reading with is that with the king of michael and the queen of michael you're definitely drawing to you someone who is your mental match okay so this person is very principled is, is very strong and well respected okay and wisdom i feel like you're drawing that person to you okay as you're shifting out of this vibration and that's going to bring in a lot of peace i'm seeing a lot of doves here so th there's going to be a lot of over here also doves so this is a very peaceful connection even though a swords can sometimes be a little bit of a warring energy but what i like with the both of these and the 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 doves here is that they this path is filled with wow the similar yellow roses this path is filled with abundance i'm feeling sun's energy so there's going to be positivity lightheartedness fun excitement and um the person who comes into your life this can be work or love is very aligned both of you are wise okay both of you have a strong mental thinking pattern which is wonderful okay so which means that your ideas are valued and respected as you value and respect another so i'm seeing like a match up here okay and honesty and integrity it is is part and part of what you are manifesting so your angels are guiding you on that path Okay. with the magician energy you're definitely manifesting something very big okay and there're going to be some successful new beginnings and you're being guided again the message is with the divine guidance final message for you is that This is a beautiful time for you to take action in whatever your heart calls. The past is behind you and you have overcome many challenges and you are in a newer vibration, a newer place. And now when you create from this newer place, from this newer dimension, new timeline version of you, you attract that abundance you attract that vibration to you so trust the psychic insight trust the guidance that's coming in and take this reading as a confirmation of what you may have been sensing and feeling okay 
So that's what I have for you. Thank you all for tuning in. Namaste. And I hope to continue seeing you on my channel. If you're new and you stayed here, you like the content. Thank you. Thank you for connecting on that. Really. Uh, our guides are connected and you are intuitively drawn to this. Wonderful. So may all of these beautiful, magical, abundant energies flow to you. And if you feel inspired to um, join the Patreon starting April 1st, I'm excited to bring the new energies and new things that I too like you as a human and experiencing and opening this up. So thank you all for all your support in any which way. And I will do these readings for the channel also not just on Patreon so I want you to know that that you don't have to be a Patreon member but when I'm doing that on Patreon it's it's more of a smaller community so the messages are more more pertinent to smaller groups so if that's what you're inspired to you can uh, sign up and we can be part of that group so if not you continue to uh, watch my videos and that is a beautiful blessing for me itself so thank you and namaste